All right, we're back. We're just going to do it this way so you guys can see everything a bit more clearer. You know, that's a cool, cool card art. Um, and there's a little bit of the instructions. I can get them. Oh, there we go. So you guys can see what I was talking about. I don't need to. Why is the flash on? It's very bright inside. There we go. Yeah, no, so that worked out pretty good. I'm glad that, I'm glad it worked. And here's a shot of his, his card back. You guys want to pause it and read it for a second? If you can see it properly. More of that artwork. And then everybody else in the back. Some of the other <laughs> that's the Duke that's riding the missile launcher. That wetsuit's pretty cool. Roadblock isn't bad. I don't have a big bear. Um Flak Viper I've heard is cool. And uh I'm a big fan of that Cobra Eel. The, the version 3-1 from Battlecore sucks because he doesn't come with the cool backpack thing. Let's see. <laughs> Just throw it. Who cares? Throw it over there. Who gives a crap? Not me. All right, let's see. Is that like? No. What did you do, Chris? You ruined the whole thing. Okay. Where are our dummy Joes? Here we go. We're going to use the dummy Joe in the way of... Look, the stars of G.I. Joe 3.75 Division. It's rock and roll from 1983. Let's go alarm battle group. Don't lose Pathfinder stuff. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's me. Rock and roll. I'm ready to get attacked by a bat leader. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so rock and roll is getting his brain... Why? Yeah, I mean, like, that's not... <laughs> that's the thing designed to kill somebody. It's not a happy way to go out. Terminator. Poor, road, poor rock and roll is dead. <laughs> Yeah, no, so it's pretty cool. I dig them. Let's try to make sure I'm not parked in the sun. I didn't realize it was going to be quite so sunny today. Ugh. All right, so that's our review on Overkill from the 1982 uh, Talking Battle Commanders line. Overkill, do you have anything else to say? Wipeout. There are no, there are no, there are no bats. The bats aren't here to attack. Well, you can do that. You can destroy things. Go destroy him. Yeah. No, so, um, honestly, <clears throat> if you guys are in the market for uh, a battle-talking uh, Cobra Overkill, I would recommend him. He is pretty fun. Uh, it only cost, I think he cost me $40 on eBay carded. And again, not too bad. I mean, like, some of the 90s stuff can get expensive nowadays, but sometimes it's been going for more reasonable prices, which is fine with me. But some of them, oh boy, they're getting up there. And it's still too expensive to be even worth it. Um, but that's also... Oh, did I just break his foot? Please say no. No. You heard that crack, though, right? <laughs> that wasn't a fun sound. You gotta be careful with these foot stands, man. We're good? Good, okay. Because if anybody needs a foot stand, it's, my God, like, this thing is, like, it's, it's a heavy backpack, man. Like, this thing is not little. <clears throat> so it's kind of like, you know, they, well, they, they, they wanted to integrate it as part of his, you know, thing. He's, he's walking into battle carrying, like, a refrigerator on his back. Well, at least, he, like I said, at least it works. He's got a plethora of weaponry at his disposal. He's got his buttons, buttons big boom boom cannon, which he can't even open properly without putting his arm up in the air. Okay. <clears throat> so we can do that. Here's his little hand. So you gotta trick him out for maximum death. He wants to destroy. You wanna destroy overkill? We're gonna help you destroy, buddy. You're gonna destroy so much and we're gonna know what to do with yourself. There you go. Now he's ready to. Yeah, so not bad. Um, like I said, cool figure. Definitely 90s. I mean, all the gold and yellow and stuff. And <laughs> like I said, the backpack, 
you're not going to get a lot of crazy poses out of this guy unless you're really, you know, careful with how you... Like, when he shows up in the comic, I'm going to have to be very stealthy with the footstand because I'm going to have to use one just to make sure that he can work properly. But like I said, him versus that the the uh, that three-pack version, I actually like this version. I like the colors. You know, it is obnoxious, but it's the 90s, so it's not unexpected. He's a cool action figure. Um, last time I checked, there aren't any robot attack androids in the real military, so I don't know what we're comparing this one to. But the Buttons McBoom Boom Cannon, the Psychic Brain Stealer thing, this big honking, well, I don't know what the heck this is supposed to be. Some sort of crazy gun. He, he's, he's definitely going to all the G.I. Joes he can. So, and I do have bats in my, my comics. I might throw him in there as a bat commander just to be someone who's overseeing everything. That, that makes me really happy. All right. This was Boggs from Obscure Toy Files. <clears throat> signing out, and remember, see you guys next time.